Hello ladies and gentlemen, good morning. This is Chris Moore de Leon Basilio and I am a student taking up Masters in Technology Education. So today I will discuss the CMO 15 series 2019 about the five learnings I, or I understand about the CMO 15. So the first one is the article one. So article 1 is a curriculum revamps have taken place in the landscape of the Philippine education. It started in the basic education through the full-blown implementation of the K-12 curriculum which in turn entailed curriculum changes in the higher education. So because of the changes in senior high school, there must be change also in the higher education program like the graduate school. So because of this, um, the graduate school need to to cope up with the changes of the education system so indeed upon reading the same 15 I did found out there's a lot of changes and there's indeed this big change more challenging for the students for the graduate school and then, so that is the rationale of the CMO 15 under the one of those rationale of the CMO 15 in terms of the policies standard and guidelines for credit program the second one is a section 2 definition and philosophical underpinnings of graduate program so it is said on that um, it is stated on the CMO also I understand it's the graduate programs focus on a particular or in the interdisciplinary academic discipline or profession and involved objective options such as evaluation and interaction with professors and peers, professionals experience via internships teaching and research and production of original research or creative work. As mom as our professor Dr. Joan Gaganting Koresma have said that indeed at the end of this line we need to show something like a title a, a, we defended the title yeah. and that title or that thesis should be published yeah. and with the help of our professors and peers and experiences via internships teaching so it would be possible so it would be more um, supervisions from our higher ups so now number three is the article two wherein the one who have authority to operate graduate programs so as stated in the section four all private higher education institution HEI state university and colleges SUCs and local university and colleges LUCs intending to offer graduate programs in campus and or off campus through any delivery mode must first secure proper authority from the commission so giving the program is not just decided by the school so it should be and must be um authorized from the higher commission of or the commission of higher education so they are there to to see if the program is how the program is being planted and how the program should serve the students in the future so it is not just one click and they can offer it there should be a there should be um oversee from the authority on the commission of higher education so that's how i see the article 2 so those who can or have authority to operate the graduate program now on the fourth one I have here so my fourth one is the article 6 section 15 so article 6 section 15 under advisor to student ratio so specifies so student must be assigned an advisor at a time of admission and must be provided with regular opportunity to communicate with their advisors not only choice of course enrollment and satisfaction of degree requirements but other intellectual and professional concerns as well so there's a question question actually popped up like question was 
did they assign us as an advisor the moment that we enrolled? I think so. On um, that, 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 and that matter, I think we just have to ask it properly or uh, clarify it with our coordinators, so so that we are clear in terms of the CMO and how it should be guided with the students, especially that this course or this graduate school or graduate program is a little bit challenging for everyone a little bit challenging for those who are taking it now for my fifth one is the article 3 discusses graduate program levels outcomes and type so i there's a lot of uh, under it but for me i focus on the seven types of graduate programs so given the units i am taking and will be taking which is 36 units all in all my program right now so i would say that i am under master of arts by research but i think i have to confirm that with my advisor or or program coordinator moreover graduate students both in masters of science or master of arts academic track and doctor of philosophy academic track or doctor of philosophy by research are now compelled to publish or at least show evidence of acceptance of research studies in referred journals or nationally or internationally indexed journals and lastly as per discussed in section 22 the tor of the students after successful completion of the program shall include the title of thesis dissertation research project and date when it was successfully defended and completed citation of the journals article published using any standard format as preferred by heis so the fifth one indeed so i i labeled where i think i have said where uh, i am under but still i need to confirm it i need to ask the the program coordinator or someone where as an advisor who sent as an advisor for all the freshmen in this graduate school and i would say that that indeed it is challenging for us because for us to be able to have the TORN we should have defended the thesis and even we should have published we should publish it so a little bit challenging for all of those who are taking the course and I would say this is not just uh, it will not be easy so challenging and honestly when reading it and upon understanding it i see that i have to really prepare myself body and soul and even spirit in terms of <laughs> of the challenges that i might face from this on forward so that's it so that's um under the art uh the number five learnings i as I've learned that uh, the last one actually in terms of TR is already an additional because I think uh, it it's something new to me because I have friends who finish their masters but uh, it is not stated on their TUR, their thesis or the, the citation or even that but then I believe in our my time right now or in this time taking this course indeed that I really need and have to do this um, successfully defending the title of the next thesis in the near future and even publish it into a journals um, in public publish it actually international journals so that's it for my five learnings I have learned enter in the moment uh, that I got uh, when I read the CMO 15 series 2019 so the next one as asked by our professor is that we need to show the comparison comparison of CMO 15 series 2019 and CMO 53 series 2007 
So, the CMO 50 revolved around the graduate programs in general, while the CMO 53 serves 2007 is particular with graduate programs in education. That in CMO 53 series 2007 also stated the types and thrusts of graduate program in education. The non-thesis master's program for teachers and non-thesis master's program for other educational professional. In CMO 15 series 2019, there are thesis track and non-thesis track. The sub-track under academic and research tracks are the Master of Science and Master of Arts in Academic or in research under the non thesis is that is what they labeled professional track the master's degree it is a professional track at a master's level with a primary purpose in applying knowledge in professional practice so the way i read the cmo 15 and uh, the cmo 53 actually um, there are similarities in terms of the, what they offer, the non-thesis and the thesis one, but then what, uh, what is clear there is that the CMO 53 series of 2007 focuses really on education, focuses really on uh, uh, teachers, teachers and the education and programs in education. Not unlike the CMO 15 series of 2019, last time I came across with a video wherein it is a discussion, a two-hour discussion in YouTube wherein it discusses the CMO 15 but in line with the psychology of course. So they are implementing the CMO 15 2019 on a psychology course. So what could I say on this is the CMO 15 series 2019 is the general g provision or guidelines for the whole graduate program and thank you.